Hi, welcome to my procedural animation tutorial. This system was one I created for Unity, and you can find the link to it in the description. Once you import my asset, we can begin setting up our procedural animation. For this tutorial, you can use your own character, or follow this tutorial with one of the characters included in my asset. To get started, open the tutorial scene by navigating to the procedural animation folder, then scenes, and finally tutorial. Here we have a character with a complete setup. But let's disable it for now and create it ourselves. Step 1. Importing a rigged character. First, we need a rigged character. I won't be covering the rigging process in this video to keep the tutorial short. But I'll leave a link to an excellent rigging tutorial on YouTube in the description. Trust me, it won't take long. Once you've rigged your model, import your character into Unity. You can either use your own character or use the same one as me. You can find it in the procedural animation folder under sprites. For this tutorial, I'll use this mimic character. Drag and drop the character into the scene. After rigging, the character might be slightly offset, as we can see here. To fix this, select the root bone and reset its position. Step 2. Setting up IK. Now we can begin setting up the IK. First, add an IK manager 2D component to the root transform of your character. Then, we need to add IK solvers by clicking this plus icon. Here we have two options, chain solvers and limb solvers. Limb solvers are for the legs with two bones, like the one on my Mimic. Chain solvers are required if your character has more than two bones in its leg like the spider character included in my asset. Step 3. Adding IK solvers. Since my Mimic has 6 legs, I'll add 6 limb solvers, one for each leg. Then, select the first leg of your character, navigate to the last bone in this case, leg and L1. In the hierarchy window, right click on it and select Create Empty, then name it Effector. Position the effector at the end of the leg. Repeat this process for each leg. Once you've created all the effectors, select the first solver and the first effector, drag the effector into the effector slot, then click Create Target. And after we create target, we can sometimes see this happening. This is ok, we can easily fix this by checking this flip box right here. And yep, now we can see that everything is working correctly. Congratulations, you've successfully set up the first IK. Now, repeat this process for the remaining legs. Step 4. Adding procedural animation component. After completing the IK setup, select the root transform and add a procedural animation component. In the root bone field, assign the root bone of your character. However, before you do so, check the bone's orientation. After rigging, the root bone might be slightly rotated or oriented incorrectly. In this case, we can see it's rotated by 90 degrees. For procedural animation to work correctly, this green arrow needs to point straight up. To fix this, select the root bone in the hierarchy window, right-click and choose Create Empty Parent, then name it Root Bone Parent. Now assign this root bone parent to root bone field in procedural animation component. Step 5. Finalizing leg setup. We're almost done. Select the leg settings tab, then click Find Legs button. And that's it. Now enter play mode and you should see that the procedural animation is working perfectly. With that, our initial setup is done.
In the next video, we'll take a closer look at each settings of the procedural animation components. If you like this tutorial, you can leave a like and subscribe to my channel. Also, you can join our Discord server, link is below.